Hi, it's Chris with GFY. Today I am going to be trimming some of our trees in our little miniature orchard. We have um, a few apple trees and a few peach and a couple plums. The last couple years is really the first time we've got much of a harvest. They're all younger trees. Some of them were here before I got the place and some of them I've put in and I wasn't keeping real good track of it either. So some of them I forgot what they are. Um, but this is an apple tree that we that did pretty well last year and um, you want to trim them when it's dormant so in the winter usually I want to keep them fairly small because I don't want the great big tall ones but I'm gonna go with what they call an open spine and they kind of think of it as a vase and you want open up the center so that sunlight gets through. And I'm definitely not an expert at this. I just kind of uh, learn as I go. And um, like I said, this one did pretty well last year. This one, it comes out sideways, which is good, but it's aiming towards this one. And I'm just gonna get it out of here. So, cut down towards the base and leave a little bit of a, a prong there. This one. Uh, this one goes right across the center. It's not really blocking anything, but um, it's not keeping my center open. So I'm gonna take that one off too. This is the one that I trimmed last year and put up a new, a new little sprout. This one is touching here and uh, going out. It's also one that I trimmed last year. This one I'm going to leave down there because it's low and kind of comes out this way. This one actually points down so I, I'm going to get rid of it too because you want them kind of like a vase kind of going up a little bit. If it's already pointed down then um, it could get way too overloaded and and cause problems. That one's a little big for these. I might use the little saw. Um, I'm using just some small pruners. Uh, I've got a branch I want to take off that's a little too thick for that and so I have a, a little short saw that that works better on those. So if you don't want to crush it, you want to cut it. So here's a couple dried up apples that we didn't didn't get last year. Once you get the basic shape that you want, you uh, I kind of take a little off of the ends of all the new ones, and then if if it's up as high where I don't want it to go any higher, I'll clip that some too. See, some of you can see where I trimmed it last year this is this little lump right here is where like I'm doing now where I pruned the height back a little bit it grew right there and grew those um, here's another one that I had trimmed it there and it grew out this might be from the year before but you can kind of see where it's went out we have two little apple trees over here that are our new ones. I planted them in the late in the season last year and I did not trim them at all because it was so late when we put them in. Um, so I have to kind of decide what shape I'm going to do with these and I think some people are proponents of trimming them when you first get them um, to kind of help do the roots but I'm not, I wasn't sure about that. And these two were red delicious. So. Now this one was leaning over and I had decided not to stake it just to kind of see how it would do um, to get branches going that other direction. Um, and it seemed to stay in like, oh, those are sucker ones. Cut those out, but. Might let that one grow. Stake. I may try to do that, get a stake and have this one go that direction. 
this one that direction. I think I'll, I'm so I'm going to leave this one alone for now. I I think I do want to put something to pull it over this way. On some of these where you see the fresh wood chippings, that's where we emptied out our brooder, and I just put the the mulch from the brooder on those. Last year I um, mulched them with hay. Uh, that was left over from the big round bales. This, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. It's still kind of doing a main leader and I want it to emphasize more on the growth down here. Um, I'm not gonna take it all the way off at this joint, but I think I'll go ahead and, and take it right there. So I need that saw. Sometimes it makes me a little nervous deciding on this stuff, but well, a lot of times you just learn by experience. We got quite a few apples off of this one, and you make, uh, is it the ones you canned? Mm -hmm. Was this the apple butter that you made? Yep, apple butter and, what else we made? We made something else. Oh, the apple pie filling. We need to make an apple. These ones that come out real low down at the bottom are usually from the root stock and they're not even the same as what your tree is typically. So you want to cut all of those off. And it's still fine to have branches down low. Um, in fact, on these, I, like I said, I don't want them getting super tall, but uh, those ones at the very bottom are just from the root stock. I see this one grows right at the center and over to there, so that's one that definitely goes away. Yeah, cut this one off and leave that one. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna cut this one back quite a ways, hopefully right here, because I want it to grow out more this direction. I'll go do one of my peach trees. I've been getting frustrated with the peaches, not due to the pruning or anything, but I have yet to have any peaches survive. They always bloom and look real good, and then we get a late frost and kills all of them. So I haven't even had one single peach. Your main tree is right here. It hasn't been pruned to be in a vase design. And the, the bottom ones are doing okay, but I'm gonna take it off right here so that we can kind of open up the center and uh, keep it from getting so tall. It's getting really tall and that'll open it up and, and let us have a, a smaller, more manageable tree, hopefully. And I don't have ever have peaches anyway, so. I'm not sure what's going on here. That's maybe looks like this had some damage there at that joint or something. Don't really know what that is. If anybody does know, put it in there and I'll check it out. What I think they were saying was that the peach trees bloom on the first year's growth. So some of these little short ones may actually be where you get your peaches. I think I'm gonna leave this one be for now. I'm gonna try to research that and see if that just looks like wind damage or if I should cut that off or what. I'm not, not sure what's going on there. So for now, I'm gonna leave it. This one's still got the tag. It is a harvester peach.
that's never had any harvesting. So this one definitely just goes to the inside, so I need to take that one out. This one for height, I think, I'm probably gonna cut a good chunk off it too, get it down to where I can reach anyway. So I've, I've got a few more of the peach trees to do. Um, we will be sure and give you an update. Hopefully this year we'll have some peaches. And I am going to add a few new trees also this spring, get some more apples going. So like and subscribe and you can see how our, uh, our trees are going.